It is about 6.40 a.m. and this London trooper's already off to a very interesting start. Last night, Katie's phone fell into a bunch of water, so it's broken. So she barely slept last night because she didn't want to fall asleep and not wake up. Um, and I can't get a hold of the other two boys. So, here's to hoping that everyone wakes up and gets here on time. We all made it alive. We're all at the bus station. Jim. Hello. <laughs> it's Jim, and that's Rob, and this is Katie. Hi. I've talked about all of them. Um, it's been a. F oh, you talked about me in a vlog. That's yeah. <laughs> it's been a morning. Um, like I said earlier, Katie's phone is broken, and I was trying to get an Uber to her place to pick her up and the guy like didn't know where to go so I had to yeah. cancel it and still had to pay like five dollars for it. I was just like this just is what it is. And then her fuse broke while she was trying to curl her hair. So now my hair looks like this. It looks fine. It's great. <laughs> Rob was up till like four in the morning last I'm not night. Rob. That's Rob. I I am Rob. He was I'm up till like four Rob. in the morning. There were people outside my room screaming until one like literally screaming until one in the morning. But anyways, I told them this earlier. It's all the bad juju getting out of the way so that our day in London will be perfect so that's what I'm going with oh, we made it we're in freaking London yeah. it doesn't I just got coffee now we're on our way to Buckingham Mouse yep sweet very excited Oh my god, this is beautiful. I don't think I owe him a This is insane. I can't believe it. It is so pretty here. There is so much gold. It's exquisite. I can't believe it. Um, oh, don't so we've got a uh, police escort here with all these horses. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> wow. Horses say nay, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> General. this is we've just stumbled upon it but it's like a little garden of things what does this say some days it storms some days it shines that's how flowers grow wow I love this I want to live here you can be in the shot Hi. explain what this is Jim uh, this is the suffragette memorial and there's Rob talking to a fucking window washer, just making casual conversation as he does. So in 1866, my great-great-grandfather, Patrick Frawley, uh, who later changed his name to Robert P. Frawley, was born on this street, uh, Dacker Street in London. And his home would have been right about where this very modern building is <laughs> now. But this, is, this is absolutely the place. Dude, that's so cool. It's absolutely the place. It's <laughs> wild. Don't know what this is, but it's beautiful. Um, I feel like an idiot, but I'm pretty sure this is Westminster Abbey. Oh yeah, Westminster Abbey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, wow. Well, Pretty College was built in 1841 as the home of the Bird Keeper in St. James Park.
I just want to say that the meal I just had here was the best meal I've had so far. I had a mushroom pie and it was freaking delicious. I had a steak and kidney pie. That was probably the best meal I've had here. Local beer as well. Can't get better than that. Give me some local stuff as well. <laughs> it's jamming. some devastating news. Big Ben is under construction for three years. And I'll show you what it looks like. That's Big Ben. Um, that's the most we can see of her. At least you can see the clock face. Well, even though Big Ben is covered and ugly looking, I'm still happy that we're here. I'm standing on Fleet Street right now, which I know is not really historically anything special, but regardless, the Sweeney Todd fan in me is still freaking out. So it is seven, no, about seven o'clock, and we are just waiting inside a um, better manger. A, I hate everything I do. We're just waiting for our bus that loads at 7.45. It's been a long day. Um, good day. But a really good day. Really cool. Everyone's exhausted. But it's been good. So it's just past midnight. Um, and I just got back from London. And I'm talking kind of quiet because it's kind of late. And even though it's a Saturday, I don't know if any of my flatmates are sleeping. I had so many feelings about the day. There were certain things that didn't quite go according to plan. You know, I was really disappointed that Big Ben was all covered. There were a lot of sites that we didn't even get to see because of how big the city is. There was a part of me that maybe felt a little bit discouraged as I was getting on the bus to come home, just because I was like, there's all this stuff I didn't get to see. So, but the day was such a crazy whirlwind. Like, it was just so much happening all the time. I, like, couldn't even process it. And then it wasn't until I sat down on the bus to go home that like I finally kind of had a moment to just let it all sink in and I just started crying. Luckily everyone else was asleep so no one saw but like crying. I don't know if you've ever had a childhood dream realized but there is no feeling like it. I've had a few dreams in my life. One, swimming with Louis Willows. Done. Two, going to Disney World and meeting Jane, done. Three, getting an Oscar, which I'm still working on. And four, going to London. Of all of the dreams that I can think of that I've really had in life, that one stretches way back, and I think is one of the earliest dreams that I ever had. I was in like second grade dreaming about going to London. It was my, I, my favorite city, even though I'd never been. Somewhere between then and now, I sort of forgot how much 
that meant to me. I was just sitting on the bus thinking about where I was and what I saw and thinking about how excited seven-year-old me would be to know that like this is how we do it, that this is how she does it. And it was just one of the coolest feelings and I've never felt something so powerful like that before to like really have like a strong dream a deep-seated childhood dream realized and it just made me the happiest and that's even with things not going perfectly I love London and it would be really hard I think for there to be a city that I love more so it was a really good day I just want everyone to know Donkey. that this is here and it's like a thing. <laughs>